just, it pays off in the end. Sure, I mean, she'd rather not have shot that eight in the fourth mm -hmm. end, but she was able to survive it because she had a lead. Exactly. So here we go. Big, big crowd here in King's Garden. And a lot of them, I'd say almost all of them, are waving the Danish flag for this young lady, Sarah Holst Sonnenschen, who seems to be soaking in the moment. Big smile, great feeling to be competing in your home country. And Sarah Holst Sonnenschen who dispatched Yashin Bostan by three points earlier and in her first quarterfinal match of the day, got past Erica Anir, 147-138. Now her toughest test of the day by far, facing Italy's Marcella Tonioli. So the gold medal on the line right now, Yashimbo, oh, excuse me, Marcella Tonioli and Sarah Holst Sonnenschen. As Brady Ellison gets a little dental work done. <laughs> well, you never know. You just never know when you're going to be on camera. You know, you just. <laughs> Just always assume you're gonna, there's going to be a camera somewhere. It's going to be one you least expect it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Always floss. <laughs> Tony Oli takes first crack at it. Yes. Nine. And the 30-year-old Tony Oli opens up with a nine. She's coming off a five-point win over Crystal Govan. Sonnenschen with a nine. Very close to the line. Tough line call. Yeah. That shot speaks for itself. Yep. Marcella, magnificent. Sonnenschen rips it in there. <laughs> so depending upon that line call, it'll be a one or two point lead for Sarah Holst Sonnenschen, who I don't think has trailed in any match so far today. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. She got out to a one point lead in her win over Yashim Bostan. And earlier today against Erica Anir, led by four after the first end. So if memory serves me correct, Sarah Holst Sondeshen has not trailed once today, not at all. Became the top ranked archer coming into this event after the withdrawal by Sarah Lopez <laughs> due to personal reasons, some health issues. We wish Sarah Lopez speedy recovery and hope she gets well soon. We'll see her back out next summer on the World Cup circuit. Yep. A great season next year. Stumps in Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. You'll get to compete on uh, home yes. turf. Yeah, that'll be fun. The US. One of the tour stops will be in Salt Lake City. Of course, we'll be in China and Turkey once again. Mm -hmm. I believe Berlin and Rome as well. So it'll be an interesting World Cup season and the World Championships in Mexico City next fall, a year from now. It'll be a fun season. Marcella trying to wrap up this season with a huge win. She's only down by one, 29-28. That's a good shot. 
Det er en lille smule til højre, men det er helt okay. Hey. See that one, she really didn't like that one too much. Out in the red zone. Not where you want to be. Sarah makes her pay for it a little bit. Could have been worse as far as Marcello is concerned. Tax on comeback. another 10. Good timing. Lee Mood Center. We will be able to do it. Maintains the two point lead 58 56. So Marcella Tonioli trailing by two after the first two ends. Tonioli this season winning an individual and a team bronze medal at stage two in Medellin. Almost won a bronze medal in Antalya on Conialti Beach. At the World Cup Finals in Paris three years ago, a mixed team silver medal. And at the World Cup Finals in 2011, five years ago, Marcella was the bronze medalist in Istanbul. Marcella has also had some heartache along the way. I remember 2012 in Tokyo, she had some equipment problems and lost her first round match. Mm -hmm. Missed on a couple of shots because she never could get the arrow to release. Yeah. Those things happen. Yeah. And it stinks when they happen, especially in, in yes. this no. type of event. No. We work all season to get here. And then something like that happens. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure a good learning experience for her as well. A painful one, tough one. Sonishin gives back a point. So it's a one point edge, 67 66, here in the third end. Tony Oli trying to hang tough. And does. Staying strong. Tried to keep that arm straight and steady. Got a little wobbly there at the end. And the eight puts her behind the eight ball, although an eight by Sarah Holst Sonishin <laughs> keeps the lead at only one. Wow, yeah. Could have put her. Uh, could have put her in her rear view mirror, like we like to say back home. <laughs> yeah. Instead, what happens on something like that? Somebody shoots an eight and you think, oh, wow, there's a chance. Yeah, it's, it's, and you shoot an eight, or she shoots an eight. <laughs> it's, my guess is thinking about that, the fact that you can that you can capitalize on this and not just staying focused and staying in the shot. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so again, the mind game comes yeah, into it. It goes back, it, there's a lot in archery and a lot of sports that just goes back to staying focused and focusing on what you can control. And yeah, it's just, it's just focusing on the controllables and, and your shot. It's very important. So Marcella Tonioli, rather fortunate, you have to think, to only be down by one after shooting an eight on her final shot of that end, she was at the mercy of Sarah Holst Sonnishin, and Sarah's eight keeps this match close. Yes. No. No. So could you bar? Good, thanks, good sir. Hold it to the timing. I'll be with you. Work with it. I'll be with you. Work with it. Lead with the center. I'll be with you. Yes. Right. 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 It's a good comeback. It's a good shot. Moves up by two, 
Yes. Bravo. Pussy. Some good rhythm. So tough, Tony Oli. Lige mod center. Bare bliv ved med at arbejde med den. Bliv ved med at arbejde med den. Yep. Thank you, guys. Tak skiver, ikke? Tak skiver. Yes. No. Oh. And another 10 by Tony Oli. Gives herself a chance. Sarah with that left bow arm bent just slightly. Is it an eight or is it a nine? I can't tell. He didn't seem to like that shot too much. So another possible eight on the third arrow of an end. Just when it looks like Sarah Holst Sonnishin is going to put it away. She shot an eight to finish up the third end, and she may have shot an eight to finish up the fourth end. If she did, we're tied at 113 with just three arrows to go. This Danish crowd on the edge of their seats. <laughs> so we're still waiting to find out officially from the judges. I think they called I think they called it in. If it was maybe. Yep. Yep, it is a one point lead for Sarah. 114, 113. Three arrows to go. Still anybody's match. Mm -hmm. For the gold medal. Yes. No. Tony only starts out high. Sarah, 10. That's what she wants right now. <laughs> close, very close. Can't tell. Shot's going to be important, I'm guessing. It could be a two-point lead. It may only be a one-point lead. Takes aim on the 10 ring and got it. Caught the line. Actually, well inside the line. So a nine. And there's the nine for the gold medal. We'll see on that one arrow. I'm not sure. It's going to depend on the judge's call. Well, we think will be the gold medal. <laughs> oh. Take a look at that arrow. That's in. It'll be a shoot off. We have not had a shoot off all day. Marcella Tonioli. Talk about some tense, anxious moments. <laughs> Waiting. Nothing like a shoot off in the gold medal match. Waiting to find out her fate. And so now, the judges for World Archery inspecting it from at least two angles. And we will soon have our decision. We are tied. We're tied. It was in. And Marcella Tonioli <laughs> has new life. <laughs> what a match. So they changed that second arrow to a 10, and we're tied at 142, and we're going to a shoot off. One arrow shoot off. The archer with the arrow that's closest to the center will be the gold medalist at the World Cup Finals of 2016 here in Udense, Denmark. And if you thought it was tense a moment ago, <laughs> We're about to ratchet that up just a little bit more. Yeah. 
Zara Holst Sonnenschein has never been in a shootoff, according to my records. Marcella Tonioli has won six shootoffs. Wow. So for whatever that's worth, yeah. yeah. She's got a lot of experience under her belt. Been in this situation before. And from our research, from what I can tell, the records would indicate that Sarah has not participated in a shoot-off before. New experience for her. So Marcella Tonioli going to shoot first. Many think that that's an advantage. Mm, open. The door is ajar. Sarah Holst Sonnenschein. For the goal. Oh, it's going to be tough. Wait. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't. Took a pretty I quick shot. I think. I think it it's, looks as it though looks like maybe. Marcella. Look like be yes. According to Falco Eye, it looks like it's going to be Marcella Tonioli. Yeah. By the skin of her teeth. <laughs> She shot a nine. And they'll measure. They're trying to be as exacting as they possibly can be with a World Cup gold medal on the line. But according to Falco I, it would appear as though Marcella Tonioli would be the winner of the shoot-off and the gold medalist. The measuring's done. And there's the it's call. Marcella. Marcella Tonioli has done it. Wow. That was a hard fought match. <laughs> and what an emotional moment for Marcella Tonioli. Wow. We talked about the heartache of 2012 in Tokyo where she was upset and undone by equipment problems in the first round. A shocking loss then Tokyo. And here four years later, She's able to hold her bow high above her head as the gold medalist at the World Cup Finals in Denmark. <laughs> what a match. <laughs> Tony Oli trailed by one after the first end, was down by two after the second end, still trailed by one after the fourth end, but somehow, some way, was able to get it to a shoot off and somehow, some way, was able to win <laughs> by that much. Couldn't have been closer than that. Well.